Corey Anthony and every Friends show. Every Tuesday and every Thursday. Hey, Y'all hey, tap in. Is this thing on? Can you hear me? Roy is anybody Anthony out show there? Is the spot to be, baby. Hey, tune in. It's the hottest show, homie, on the West Coast. The Roy Anthony Show. It's the hottest show, homie, on the West Coast. The Roy Anthony Show. It's the hottest show, homie, on the West Coast. The Roy Anthony Show. And it's featuring the homie Big Hey. It's the hottest show, homie, on the West Coast. The Roy Anthony Show. It's the hottest show, homie, on the West Coast. The Roy Anthony Show. It's the hottest show, homie, on the West Coast. The Roy Anthony Show. And it's featuring the co host Big and Cynthia Jewel. It's the hottest show, homie, on the West Coast. Everybody tune in, you dig it? It's funny as hell, my dude. It's where we can kick every Tuesday. Everything is going every down. Every Thursday. They about to do the most. It ain't a competition, it's a conversation, homie. Yo. On the weekends. Roy Anthony every show. Tuesday. It's the week, homie. The Roy every Anthony Thursday. Show. What you listening to? The Roy Anthony Show. Come on and get a talk. Tap in. Before we gotta tap talk. in. What you listening to? The Roy Anthony Every Show. Every Tuesday. Come on and kick it with us. The Roy Anthony Every Show. Every Thursday. It's going down, homeboy. The Roy Anthony Show. Co host. Tap in. Big Hank. We getting it. What you think? Hey. It's the hottest show, homie, on the West Coast. The Roy Anthony Show. It's the hottest show, homie, on the West Coast. The Roy Anthony Show. It's the hottest show, homie, on the West Coast. The Roy Anthony Show, and it's featuring the homie Big Hank. It's the hottest show, homie, on the West Coast. The Roy Anthony Show. It's the hottest show, homie, on the West Coast. The Roy Anthony Show. It's the hottest show, homie, on the West Coast. The Roy Anthony Show, and it's featuring the co-host Big Hank and Cynthia Joy. What it do, what it do, what it do. Once again, this is Roy Anthony. Welcome to the Roy Anthony Show. My co-stars, Big Hank, Cynthia Joy Towner, will be joining in in, a, in any minute. Uh, they know I always do the intro, give our credits where credits is. So I'm Roy Anthony. This is the Roy Anthony's show, which is a podcast. Now, we have Roy Anthony Live, which is a stand-up comedy show on Thursday nights. But every Tuesday and Thursday afternoon, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. Um, let me, like um, Cynthia always say, what about Mountain Time? That's 11 a.m. Mountain Time. And on um, 2 p.m., uh, no, I guess it'd be 1 p.m. on the East East Coast. Um, we come in with our um, Roy Anthony Show podcast with our co-stars, Big Hank and Cynthia Joy Towner. And our show was based on, a, it's a conversation. It's not a confrontation. It's a conversation because some of the subjects and conversations that we have, we try to be where it's a freedom of speech scenario. Now, do we agree? Always. No, but it's not a fight. Everyone has entitled to their opinion. But we do pride ourselves on tackling subjects that seems to be where some people find it hard to, to talk about, to discuss. Um, and so we fall under the platform called the WO Entertainment Platform. And the WO Entertainment, which was created by veterans to look out for veterans that commit suicide on a daily rate. So with the Royal Anti Show with us, um, I'm I'm a non-veteran. Big Hank is a non-veteran, um, and uh, doesn't mean like we duck from going to. We went to college and had other scenarios that happened, and um, but we support our veterans. And one of the things that WO was created for was to bring awareness how our veterans commit suicide on a daily rate. So we tackled ourselves on having conversations. You know, um, because we found that people commit suicide. The uh, one of the major scenarios is um, depression, feeling inadequate in today's society, or thinking your thoughts and your mannerisms are inadequate compared to other people's scenarios. So 
we found being in our eighth season now, me and uh, Big Hank has been together for over 10 seasons of entertainment together, but with the WO, we have been in a solid eight season. Um, coming, the, um, I think they asked us to extend it because we was going to end the eighth season December 14th, but we're going to end it um, probably the end of December when the WO um, entertainment show comes back. And um, WO has the entertainment show which is ran by Richard King. And I was going to get into that. That's on Tuesday evenings at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, 4 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. Now, um, like I said, we pride ourselves on having conversations, um, hoping that something that we say or talk about ourselves or discuss amongst ourselves about ourselves, that it could spark into somebody that, hey, I'm going through the same thing or I can relate and it will make them not think of, you know, um, feeling inadequate or feeling like they need to take their lives. Now, the W.O. Entertainment, which was created by Richie King, um, that's the head producer and stand up comedy name is Redneck Pimp, along with the co-creator Goose, our social producers that make sure everything's run. Everybody's around the United States. Um, um, Richie King and Goose, I know they live around the surrounding areas of Cameron, Missouri. Um, our social producer, Blue Phoenix, I know she's based out of Springfield, Missouri, which is, um, I think three or four, they about four or five hours apart from Springfield and Cameron, Missouri. Then Eighth and Daily, our other social producer is based out of Northern California. Um, we know that um, then our sponsor, Matthew Brooks, to my understanding, he's based out of Shawnee Mission, Kansas. And um, then, like, if you know myself, I'm in Long Beach and in Kansas City, Kansas. I go back and forth each week. Um, my main primary home is Long Beach. And um, for family, personal situations, I come back and forth to Kansas City, Kansas. Um, Big Hank is based out of Long Beach. Cynthia Joy is in Colorado Springs. And then we have our good neighbors that um, that kicks it with us. And we they support us. We support them. It's like family. Y'all see Carl Loomis on our show sometimes. We got to get J-Dub and everybody from the BB Nation. The BB Nation, which is the backwood veterans based out of Oregon, they be all up in the mix. And then we have the Long Beach All-Stars which is Long Beach, Linwood, Compton, even I'm found out parts of Watts, um, veterans and non-veterans coming together, um, supporting. Then we got the whole W.O. family. Other ones, you know, our family members and everything are based around the U.S. And then our own um, personal friends, associates, and even people who don't like us. I'm Roy Anthony. Um, proud of myself on being a top tier stand up comedian. Um, this past Saturday night, um, this was a busy week for me. Um, Thursday night, we had our show in downtown Long Beach every Thursday night. If you in the area, uh, we had 246. That's 246. Um, let me make sure I had 246 East Third Street. Um, you can check out our comedy show there. Um, this is every Thursday night, downtown Long Beach, um, Cali. Um, we, um, still Saturday, I was with Richie and, um, man, I'm going to tell you. So Richard Matana wasn't able to make it. His car broke down, but Jeff Onyx stepped in and Jeff, as I, you know, I did a good, solid 35 40 minutes and um it was richie's hometown and i had to drive an hour and 20 minutes and that's a distance it's not like he was in l.a because you dealt with traffic it's an hour 20 minutes going 70 miles per hour <laughs> but um i had a good time with them fellas but um jeff honest man he had me man i was leaving out to go back to um because I had another hour and so many minutes to drive. And I just flew in that night. And um, 
Hey, what's up, Carl? Carl Lewis said, what's up, bro? Just was talking about you. What up, bro? And so that's Carl Lewis, um, one of our good brothers from the BB Nation, back with veterans based out of Oregon. Um, but I was with um Richie and them, and I was at the I rock, you know, I did too. I rocked it too. And I love that I have materials that making blacks, whites, Latinos, a anybody laugh. Howie Mandel that told me that, that if I had materials that anybody that can make anybody laugh, he said, man, you're going to be a millionaire. And I used the same materials I use um, and with the blacks, whatever, I don't discriminate. My audience is my audience. You know, these was basically um, a bunch of white folks. I was the only black, but, you know, I don't look at it like that. I looked at it as human beings and my comedy um portrayed that i tackled the issues without it being discriminatory or pointing fingers or anything right and i uh, got everyone on the same page and to me that ain't nothing but god because god gave me this gift and my gift is a sense of humor and I'm recognizing scenarios and one of my best friends, everybody know Big Ski. Every time you hear my titles, I'm going to get Big Ski. That's a credit to his royalty show and so many other um, tracks. We are on tracks and music together. I like to give Big Ski a good shout, big shout out. And um, the horseback riding joke is one of his favorites. And um, hey, Carl got two different ones came up. He came up with another Carl Looms. Good morning, brother. Asking everybody and um through the YouTube page, I'm gonna get on to that. But I want to say Big Ski. Big Ski told me that's one of his favorite jokes is the horseback riding joke. And when I do it, if you probably seen it on YouTube when I just did it on one of our shows not too long ago, I got a plethora of jokes and stuff, but there are certain ones that they ask requests. And um I did the same joke Saturday night and got the same type of response. That means that our, our audience can be in the same. Um, oh, he said, just just uh, waking up from the night shift. That's right, Carl. Um, he had two. We got one coming from Facebook and two coming from YouTube. But I had this, I got these materials that all races can laugh about. That's what today's show is about. Um, every um, everybody I know they're preparing for the holidays. Thursday is considered Thanksgiving. Families come together, kicking it off. I know that Friday, a lot of people plan on shopping. They call it Black Friday. <laughs> they buy in fact they kept announcing that the NFL was playing uh, football game first nfl game on black friday <laughs> you know just sounds so you know like friday after thanksgiving just say friday after thanksgiving i don't know why it's got to be black friday but anyway <laughs> i um this we're not gonna be on this thanksgiving we won't be on because this thursday because it's thanksgiving and this today's show was just about how to how to be take it easy how do you chill how do you relax you know some people feel that if they go out of town on vacation and i when i've been out of town on vacation it seems like i'm doing more rustling and bustling than i did if i was going to work you know i don't feel like i Sometimes I, when I've been out of town, I didn't relax my mind. You know, I'm thinking about where I got to go here and if I'm going on a tour there or whatever, you know. Now, I do find relaxation when I do stand-up comedy and, I'm, you know, they book me somewhere else out of town. I like to chill in my hotel. I read about the city or whatever. Go, you know, um, if it's paid for a week which is weekend stand-up comedy is a Thursday night, two shows, Friday night, two shows, Saturday night. And so I try to be where I get to knowing everybody 
or seeing their city, you know, meeting or something like that. I'm a tourist. Now, they set it out for me, but when I go on my own vacations, it seems like it's more of a rustle bustle because it seems like I'm concentrating on getting here. I got to go there and, and, and I'm, my itinerary is constantly revolving because I got a friend who wants to see me, got people over here, want, you know, and do I find myself actually relaxing? And this is the thing that I want to tell sometimes, and I would tell anybody this, my grandmother always told me, never make a decision on spontaneous, always be able to sleep on it, you know, take a go to sleep that night and in the morning you're going to have uh, the correct answer don't give an answer that means relax sometimes somebody can say oh we're going to give you this and that and you and people will get all hyped up and excited and and not hearing the full details you know when when people hear something about free sometimes they're not hearing <laughs> the fine print, you know, before you make a decision on anything, sleep on it. If it's, if it's meant to be, it'll be there. It'll be there in the morning. Just sleep on it. Take your time and sleep on it. Never make a hasty decision. That's, that's meaning you want to relax. You want to take your time. You know, most um i've had companies offer me a position and and i i tell them i said well let me think on it and they say oh yeah yeah you know let us know by thursday today is monday you know i i take my time to think on it relax sometimes we feel like everything got to be done right then and this holiday seasons this is, i've seen the worst of people come out, especially around the Christmas holidays. It's about giving. And just because you want to give some family member a certain gift, don't go get it now. Go get it doing it. Don't fight with another customer because all of a sudden you got y'all both down to the last thing. For real. One time I had a shopping basket. I wasn't, I don't take Christmas like, you know, like that. I I thank God for salvation. And now, I'm, as I'm more I read, I found that Christmas fire more rarely when Jesus was born was really like June and July. It wasn't on December. I'm just being honest with you. Um, what's up, Miss Cynthia Joy? Man, listen, hey y'all, hey. First what's up of with all, you? I'm in here trying to fold these big ass sheets. I'm at work right. <laughs> you well, she got. She got like a California king bed. I don't know. See, I do good at home because, you know, I just roll my shit up. I don't care. They at home. I don't care. <laughs> yeah. about but I got to try to do professional things over here. And, <laughs> and, she <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? I'm glad you said that because, you know, today's subject is about relaxing. How do you how do you relax? How do you take it easy? You know, instead of getting in panic. Now here you are. What you just say when you 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 dealing with the big old king size sheet? Man. The one well, really one hand, y'all. She's doing it with one hand. It's been a whole situation. I, I've been maneuvering this. I got hot as hell in here with I'm glad she can't hear me because she's 92 years old and her TV loud as hell. So it's a whole situation in here. I'm here living my best life. This is how I relax when I'm in the fuckery of life. Um, you laugh at it and you keep it moving. <laughs> yeah, but you know that's so that's cool though. You, you looking out for her. I mean, you're gonna do the best you can. Are you putting the, the sheets on the mattress? No, I did them parts already. These are the ones that I washed and now oh, I gotta you need try to fold them up. up. Man, listen, the struggle has been, I'm black as hell now, I should have kept the light on, you really can't see me, this is like a shadow talk, this is real right now, but no, so now I'm trying to, it's the fittest sheet that's an asshole, because, you know, don't nobody really know how to fold those except old country black women, so, um, I know how to fold them, but they require more hands, and 
I just been making it do what it do, how I do when I do it, because that's the way I do it with the strength of you. <laughs> I feel you. I feel you. Hey, you know what? I see Carl Loomis just showed up in the back. I haven't, I don't, I haven't seen his um, camera come on yet. If it comes on, I will. And so, hey, you know what? Though I applaud you, Cynthia. I applaud Man, I'm you for moves. doing Thank because you. look here, Let's I can't see. fold a sheet right with both my hands. I'm listening. Oh, your camera. Uh oh. I'm just trying to do the light. Your camera light. came off. I'm on. Camera. I'm right here looking at you. No, you came. You went off and came back on. Oh yeah, because I wanted to try to figure out if I can get the light better so y'all can kind of see my face. Oh, yeah, you can see. But it's what I, I see you with that big old bed struggle. Hey, yeah. look here. What you do is let me tell you something. I don't know if you know the fitted sheets that go on the mattress. I don't even know to put those on, fold those. You know what I mean? Like um, I say I know how to I do them. Carl come in. I seen the, his cameras up there, but uh, he he's at not work. Showing up. Carl live at work. Hey, but at least you doing. At least you doing something. You feel me? Man, gotta see you making moves. And you're doing it with ease, you know what I'm saying? You got to be where, oh, you did that pretty well. And so, don't be fooled, y'all. Um, Cynthia, but Cynthia. What's up? I was talking about when I be on vacations, I went on vacations, it seemed like I'm more busier than I was when I'm working, didn't go, you know what I'm saying? Thanks. I didn't feel like I was able to take it easy or had a, um, a relaxation of my mind when I'm on vacation because you itineraries and then you got friends who wants to see you all oh, you in town you know we doing this we're doing that and, and it seems like it's a rustle bustle um I got yeah. my GPS don't let my phone die I need a core because my phone is starting to die how do mm -hmm. I get here or there you know and so it seems like I relax when I just put my mind in a situation like this holiday. Now this Thursday, we won't be on because of the Thanksgiving holidays. Okay. Um, and so I want everybody to, um, I seen Carl to come back in. I'm trying to see if he's coming in. I don't see him in the background. Carl, if you there? Well, this thing is circling. When he, um, when I see him in the back and stuff, and Big Hank will be showing up unless they're doing something because a lot of the churches are getting ready to um more likely passing out Turkeys a lot of food and now. Kind of stuff. yeah yeah now big hank and them don't just wait for christmas and holidays to pass out food that's what yeah. i love yeah. and um rock box church um st luke's holy baptist church on the west side of long beach um is where big hank attends um i attend um also show support to pastor e of church of california um we're gonna be working with a lot i'm working with him on some programs um especially sb30 to try to help um, um cats get out of prisons and there's records of sponge and stuff yeah that's um, good working major with that so um program i'm gonna be um we're gonna hold classes they own businesses they're going to start holding glasses, show cats how to do computer aided drafting and um, how to do resumes, how to deal with office situations, politics, Ooh. you know. And so, but yeah, I said that we're relaxing our minds. I'm tired. Um, Carl <laughs> Loomis said, here, hold up, you're going to try it again. He tried to come on. His camera wasn't coming on. Um, okay. We know that this is a time, you know, I don't like a, a calendar to tell me when to kick with my family. You I don't need that. Family, you should be able to kick it um, without having to wait for Thanksgiving. Yeah, whenever you can, you're supposed to get with your family. Wait, there's Carl, he's in the house. Don't Carl's wait for no house. front of rows. What's don't up, wait for no parties. Oh, man. Good morning, What's you up, guys. Carl? How you doing, Sugarfoot? <laughs> Good morning. How are you? All right, Man, you worked last night, huh? We did. We worked from about uh, worked from about seven o'clock till about three o'clock this morning. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, you was Cynthia. You were saying something. I you didn't know hear how you. you be. I know because you be liking to just jump in. 
<laughs> you don't let me start. You went over here trying to fold this sheet. That's what I was trying to tell Carl when she was like, yeah, go ahead, my sheet. bad. No, nope, I didn't. don't even <laughs> he see my struggle. It don't even matter. <laughs> hey, you a bad you a bad sheet folder survivalist. It ain't no struggle. <laughs> It's real in here. <laughs> Look, you see, I got to keep walking around the bed to figure out the best way to get it. <laughs> hey, and Carl, that ain't no bad hours getting off at three in the morning. You know what I'm saying? Unless you got to go back. I actually, I actually got woken up by my foreman this this app just a little while ago. Actually, he's like, um, we got some stuff we got to do, and then you know you could probably take off tonight to drive home. I'm all the way up in. Um, Kent, Washington, right now, um, which is probably about an extra three and a half hours away from oh, where I live. No. So, so you're not far from Seattle, then? No, no, I'm I'm probably. Mm, let's see, Seattle is. Uh, oh, I want to say maybe forty-five minutes. I need to make my way that way. I've had some strokes of other friends out in Seattle. 26 minutes from me. You said for 26 so. minutes? Hey, that's your my child of friends is there. Um, somebody says it says Facebook user. It says, hey y'all. Call it. Hey there, dear. Laugh out loud. That's my uh that's my fiance. If you can go on YouTube and find the show, it'll show you as who you are, not Facebook user. Okay. Um, that's your um, that's your fiance, right? That's my better three quarters, as we call her on the show. Um, Caitlin, <laughs> Caitlin. Yes. Man, y'all supposed to have been married what? Now I thought y'all got married last year. No, we just didn't have the funds, and we wanted to have a halfway decent wedding, and. And yeah, we decided to, to that courthouse and just do it like that until you have it. No, she no, do that. She did that no. last time that she was married. Her and I are both uh, divorced once. Okay. So well, again, this time I do it right. This time with the right. That's person. right. This time going to be the last time, so we might as well have a shindig. Yeah. yeah well, hey, they right. met for each other. <laughs> she loves. She loves Carl, and he loves her. I I've been with what um, W O for three years. And stuff basically with podcasts, and they've been on uh, everything. So, hey, Caitlin, and stuff, you know, I know you got a big ring on her finger, right? Mm hmm. That's a big ring. Like, why would you sound like good time just now? Mm -hmm. I was gonna say, he sung, he sung that. <laughs> Carl was up there. Mm hmm. Morning, everyone. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm late. Storms in Northridge. That started Evans. Um, Carl. Oh, what's up, Kyle? Oh, Kyle, Kyle Lundy. Kyle Lundy. Yeah, I was changing up. It's Kyle Lundy. He be changing yep. up his name, man. On me, Devil Doc. And and so now I know this is Caitlin. Caitlin said, uh, we were so let me bring it up. Okay. So we were to, but July the seventh would be our ceremony. Right. That's, yeah, that's July the seventh. July seventh, twenty twenty four. Yeah. Okay. This is what I'm saying. All right. And it. Hey, see, you know what? That's when all your blessings gonna come. You mm -hmm. major blessings. See, that's why I, I'm hoping one day I find one because all the homies that I know that are married, they do get um, and they believe God, they do get major blessings. I ain't saying I don't get blessed, but God said blessings. He blesses Mary. Man, blessed is a man who finds himself a wife or he finds himself a good thing. I obtained a favor in the sight of God. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Yeah. First tissue uh, nice got to go this... away now. <laughs> Dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> and, the, um, and she said he sure marked his territory. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, y'all, oh, for real. Right. I mean, <laughs> I've been with W.O. for like, like I said, it was going on four years. And every show, every for real, it's always going to be Carr and Kaylin. Am I saying her name correct, right? Kaylin, yeah. 
Galen, and that's how long I've been known for real. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's always been that way. <laughs> and um, she said, even though I already call him my hubby, I'm thankful for him big time. Mm -hmm. I am too. What's up, Galen? We we've had. I'm don't happy get me... for that. I'm happy uh -huh. for y'all. I love that for y'all. We have we have had our trials and tribulations as though every relationship yes. will, but if we keep it with, you know, keep it 100 with each other and we just yes, keep yeah. on making it happen and that's the best thing I could ever ask for. I've been through some pretty mm -hmm. shady past relationships that have really turned out very bad and um, this one has never gone there, so it's uh it's been a blessing to me it's been hard for me because there's a lot of things that we try to get through that i have to deal with um so just we just keep marching on down the line you know what i'm trying to get to that point i'll be honest with you um see y'all you're better you're a better person than me because you just admitted that you've been through some stuff and now you find one see that's what make me i i i think i got pdsd from old previous girlfriends or something like I know that. I do. And you know what I mean? And it makes me like, mm, you know, because like I don't argue. You would think that I would argue the person I don't. You right. got to remember, everything ain't an argument, though. Y'all can have disagreements. Don't make my argument. Well, what I'm saying is, is that, I, you know, that's that I can deal with. You know, I got people, you know, my biggest thing is I don't like insecurities and accusations when that's the hardest thing for me. Um, oh, when I tell a person I'm a mon I'm a monogamous person, and so so they see me doing my stand up or something like that, and I'm you know people are going to talk to me. It's not like I'm taking a secret number on the side if I'm with you. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. And and all of a sudden I'm who is that? Why did I smell this on me? Smell what on me? Mm. I, I can't. You know, I don't know how to answer that. The next you know, I'm next you know, people are fuzz. I'm like Richard Pryor next thing you know, I'm like fuck. It. <laughs> yeah, that's extra. I'm just yeah, being no, honest. No, that's too much. I feel you. That's extra. That's that really is insecure. I can't even see that. Let me see. Hold on. Uh, my eyes. We both wait, we both sure have honey, <laughs> but you know what? We keep growing stronger and better. And especially for our kiddos as well as ourselves. I love you too, Caitlin. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> no, but see, that's that's what um and Carl just said the same thing. Now does that sound like some people on the same wavelength? See, the thing yeah. with me is I I don't give you reasons to be insecure, but when you doing this type of work that I do, I get off a stage. Or somebody makes comments and so, oh, I like Roy. Oh, he looks good. And I'm with you. I don't pay no attention to it. But the badger me. Bad. And then one, I have one who sent their friends to follow me. What? And they pulled up beside me. I didn't even <laughs> speak to them or nothing. And they like, oh, yeah. So I'm going to a spot. And, it, you know, when in this field, you got to deal with male and females. Right. You can't be in a relationship and thinking that now every other female shouldn't exist in your life. I think that's crazy. You feel me? Oh, yeah. yeah not, we've, you go ahead, Carl. We, uh, we definitely have um, buried a lot of bad stuff between the two of us, like her dealing with her past, me dealing with my past. And um, it's been rough, but we have seemed to have made, we've actually been together for six years, believe it or not. We've been together for six years. Oh, I believe that. I believe and um, it has been hard and it has been easy. And there are people that have tried to nose their little businesses mm -hmm. into our business and say, oh, well, he said this. Mm -hmm. And then he said that there's, there's people that do not want us to be together. There are people that <clears throat> excuse me are happy for us and there's people that absolutely hate the both of us and and that's right. okay because we are connected we're on the same wavelength you know we 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 like the same stuff that helps out big time um but yeah it's 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 been 
it's been very rough. Well, let me ask you a question. Okay. Okay. Because today's show was about how do you take it easy or relax your mind? Okay. You find that you can be take it easy though. Like I'm a person, I can't close my eyes around certain people. Right. I can You know, I ain't trying to be funny, but I just can't go to sleep around. You know, somebody I don't know, or whatever. Wait right. a minute. I, I'm sorry. This is so random, y'all. But first, I folded the shit out these sheets and pillowcases with one hand. Y'all <laughs> see? Y'all see? I was just that. looking at. I'm going to be honest with you. I was looking at the bedroom and everything. I'm like, you did that with one mm -hmm. hand. The full shine and man, I meant. <laughs> no, you did that. You, you okay, did I'm that. sorry. I'm sorry. No, no you. Right, go ahead, bro. You, what you were saying, Carl? Oh, no, I, I was going to tell her that that's amazing. <laughs> you <laughs> did pull the shit out of them sheets. <laughs> yeah, I know you did do that. I can't. Uh -huh. Them finished sheets, I don't even try to deal with them, man. Mm. They go right on your the mattress. I can fold the other ones into a square, but the fitted mattress, I man, it gets to a point. I just flip them on like, hey. Okay. <laughs> I can't, man, I can't get into it. Yeah. Um, um, Starter said, go pretty, do your thing. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, and, thank you, um, and she said, she sure did laugh out loud and then everybody can tell me it's, she said i hate the bitter sheets to laugh out loud. man i don't even try to fold no more i flip them over it, they puffy at the bottom that's why you put them at the bottom of the drawer the nice no. sheets, for real okay they're too puffy you got no, to get time, time to, yeah. they talk about stick to curb i had this one day oh my goodness and that's the other thing i don't I think there's some more of my pet peeves with they. I, yeah. I don't like everything to be like a itinerary perfect. Like I got a whole world to lab. This lady tried to teach me how to do the finished sheets. It turned into an argument where, man, get out of my house. Really? <laughs> well, especially when you do it like this. <laughs> You if you just tuck it in and you fold this piece down, now it becomes yeah. whole. And so I know you can do that, Mr. Engineer. I'm like, well, you don't have to be a sultan. I, I just don't have a good thing with fitted sheets. But <laughs> I'm like this, you know what I'm saying? It got too boring. I'm like, man, you know, the sheet. I got a big old problem in the world out there. I got 99 problems and fitted bed sheet ain't one. <laughs> 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 so I don't like someone people who are just, you know, picking. Now, I believe in the clean kitchen, the clean house, or whatever. But today I might lay my pants on my on my divan in my bedroom. Mm -hmm. I might take off my socks right by my bedroom door. I don't know. It ain't junky in there. Wait a minute. You might want to lay your pants on the what? On my little divan, you know, the little chair thing you have. No, I ain't got one in my room. I sit oh, on my okay. bed when I go in there because, you know, I don't go in my room unless I'm getting in the bed. But um... <laughs> well, where do you undress at? Do you, do you want to undress in the bedroom, like in the bathroom, it? and then walk over into the bedroom? Probably more than likely, but usually I come home so dirty from work, I got to strip right there at the door. It just Thank depends you. on the day. She said, so, she said, don't you go tracking that stuff through my house. You feel me? <laughs> you, you gotta be, you know, and I, I, I keep a clean house. I'm looking at, I can look in the background across where he's at. Well, now I don't think he had his home, but he is keep it clean. When I've seen that to other, um, you had coming from the home. I've been in your yeah. home, Cynthia. She got the big King Kong bed thing there. You know, like King Kong was chained up. Oh. You know what? That just make it sound like the only thing I got in my house. You just make it sound like all I got is freaky things in my house. Ain't nothing in my house but freaky shit. Ain't just I all I got in there. Like, I thought I'm telling you, that motherfucker got a woman tied up until King Kong come around. <laughs> <laughs> I mm -hmm. see that bad frame. But let me tell you something. I, I heard Carl. Heard you say 
you know, you've had some hard times and stuff in any, any relationship, our personal relationship with our family members have those ups and downs. But at the end of the day, that's someone that you can actually lay your head down mm -hmm. and go to sleep. And she feels secure around you just as well. Mm -hmm. Kids feel the same way. Yep. Yeah. Um, when, well, it, it definitely is my relaxing spot is to be home with the kids and, and with her. And, you know, we like to go out in the woods and, you know, be out in God's country and, you know, um, just mosey on around and, uh, uh, you guys are talking about being in a clean house and all that stuff and my motto is is that you got dishes in the sink and toys on the floor you got happy kids you know if you uh well, that if ain't you, no junkie house that's a lived house you got kids yeah, it's, you know it's, it's, yeah. yeah some, some people believe in having a museum you know where everything's clean and pristine and folded and nah. that's okay too but you know we have kids and they're a mess and okay you see what Caitlin said <laughs> she said, I know I get a little overwhelmed with laundry lap out loud, so it sits in baskets till I get the nerve to go through it all. <laughs> hey, Sometimes, real talk. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Aww. You know, I'm so glad my kids old enough to do their own now. I'd be like, oh, watch your clothes. My home. Uh oh, Galen then came with that Luther Vandross on him. Because you ain't at home right now, Carl. Mm -mm. Oh. Nope. It, your house is not a home. <laughs> okay, y'all. I'm going to get my butt back in here to work and do something before I get off. <laughs> okay, well, we ain't going to be on too long, much longer, y'all. I know Carl, he need to get some rest. He probably want to spend the time to talk with Kaylin and the kids. He's no, actually, uh, unfortunately, huh? unfortunately, my boss just called me and said we got one job to do and then I can possibly leave tonight to drive three hours from can't all the way back to Malala. <laughs> I'll see the kids this weekend. Okay. Um, I came back over here to to Malala to work because it kind of got my ass kicked out there with you know working and stuff like that. And, kids say um, we seen my daddy on Roy Anthony show. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. He's like my daddy. He's he's been really missing me pretty hard. Um, yeah. Okay. I haven't seen him for a couple of weeks just due to work but and everything else. So I knew Cynthia was getting off. She thought I wasn't going to say nothing and stuff. Um, Cynthia was getting off, but she had to. She's at work. Cynthia, I know you're listening to it. Um, we got you on, girl. Um, hey, man, I'm uh, go ahead. Oh, no, I'm that, that was all I was going to say. Hey, I mean, you know what, man? I love, I, um, I love my kids and I love guys who love their families, you know. I've been a single dad, but um, I have a good rapport with my kids. I tell anybody, just keep having your kids talk with you as they grow up. You know, grownups want to tell kids, hey, be quiet, stand, stay out of grown folks business and stuff like that. You know, kids is listening, but they ain't trying to be in your business. They ain't trying to pay no bills and stuff like that. I've always had my kids to communicate and talk with me. And now they're 18 and 15 and they do that, you know. Oh yeah. And um she said, Oh, both, both boys saw the screen laugh out loud, but we miss him very much. And that's how I put it. Be. <laughs> now, no matter how terrible things be, that's behind you, right? Yep. You're always saying, Hey, and if you can make it through hard times, I, like I was saying, the show was about how do you relax? How do you take it easy? How do you, you know, you said you relax when you get home with, yep. your, with, your, with the kids. Sometimes and, I try to, my, my kid's a monster. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> you know, um, but, uh, you know, I, I, I think that we relax or I relax the most is when I'm with her. Um, you know, uh, I relax when uh when i go out in the woods you know we go to sit you know the sand lake trip every year usually only lasts everybody that we go during the weekend everybody leaves after the weekend you know or, or they leave monday or tuesday well i'm gonna tell you what man wednesday hits and there's nobody out there 
my little ass takes a nap, a long nap, a reset nap. You, you relax there, don't yeah. you? See, that, that's what we were just talking about. You can plan a vacation. You think it's okay, it's going to be chill, but you got to do a lot of running. <clears throat> you got to address some people. Everybody want to meet, talk with you and stuff when you throw in that big festivity. You know, you ever go through that where everybody like, hey, what's up, Carl? I know I was going to do that, but I come there and be like, hey, Carl, you feel me? And I oh, yeah. five or ten minutes. <laughs> No, we we uh we get out there, and I mean the one uh, the one thing about that that trip is I, you know, I've been doing it for ten years. This year makes number eleven that we'll be going in August, and uh, everybody comes out there and, and they spend the weekend hanging out with me and themselves, and I bring all these people together to relax, shoot the breeze, have a good time. Um, and that's 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 relaxing. I took so many naps this year. It's because I'm old. <laughs> you say you took so many naps this year. <laughs> hey, but look here. Isn't that the relaxing part? Mm -hmm. I mean, you can take a nap. A nap sounds like um some sleep in the midday. You done did all your work or uh, everything possible to uh, take a nap or take a rest, you know. You ever slept for like 30 minutes and felt better than you slept for six or eight hours? No. <laughs> no. Oh, you have? <laughs> no. It, How many I, hours you need to sleep, Carl? Yeah, I, I get, I get, uh, I'll lay down for 30 minutes and have a nap and I actually feel sleepier than when I woke up from when I was oh, originally dude. awake. How many hours do you like to sleep? At least six, seven hours. Oh, do you? Man, I'm a four to five hour man, but there's been times where I took a 30 minute nap and I like, you know, I feel like, you know, um, because I don't like I've told people like um, I seen I don't know if that was one of them energy drinks, the energy drinks um, is nothing but water filled with a whole bunch of sugar. I seen how it makes it right. And sugar this, even them up. this one that I have has some uh, BCA amino acids in it and electrolytes and cosamine. And um, or Conzeme. Um, this one's like packed with 300 milligrams of caffeine, but it's got a lot of vitamins in it that um, uh, help your body. Um, hey, you know what I call it? Hey, that, that's 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 a milkshake with coffee and vitamins. <laughs> All that sugar. Hey, man. Um, she said, "Hey, thanks." She said, oh, hey, that's okay. You're my old man, love. I just take care of you so you can, when you're tired, and even when you're not, I get you, got you, babe. We were talking about the naps and everything. Yeah. <laughs> she got you for real. And, you know, nothing's never, okay, Dory, nothing's never just, and I'm and I'm not a, naive to this. Nothing's never just perfect, mm -hmm. you know? Real, I I never put nothing past even my own kids and stuff. You know, for real, I I just know where the to to human is air. To air is humans, what they say. Uh -huh. Mess up, but it's how you can work with somebody. And if I'm not intentionally trying to mess up, work with me, be patient with me. But one of the things we have to be patient with ourselves, with our mind and stuff. When you go out there and do that job, you ain't rush. Take care of your time. That way, you can get on back home safely to the kids. Right. Construction, I've seen so many guys in construction because, you know, I used to be a construction surveyor before I became a civil designer. And I've seen guys trying to hurry up and brush off. And I've seen so many casualties, especially like we would put bridges and they had that rebar turned and they called it widow makers because the slabs ain't all the way paid. Right. And, they, and I've seen guys take that fall. Uh, <laughs> I, I seen where the um they done took the earth mover and the move put the earth up in the air and they supposed to bring that bucket back down but he didn't and he turned it he called to turn it while the air to put it in the thing tilt <laughs> for real so take your time bro and I know that they be concerned about when you get on home and so because um this weather's changing and stuff like that oh, I don't yeah. know how it, yeah it's raining and stuff I think um Seattle's Weather's versus Midwest weather. I think in the winter time, ain't it? 
it's just really cold. It's been really cold up here this week. Thank God it hasn't rained much. Um, I think it only rained for like 30 minutes one night this week when we were out on night shift. Um, yeah. I've actually been up here for two weeks now. Um, I went home Friday, came back Saturday, drove back or, or came back Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon. Way, way too late. Um, but it rained on the way up here and it was pretty a lot of people being way too uh high strung on the freeway so yeah taking my time and everything you know what i mean you see what i'm saying take your time <laughs> relax your mind for yeah. real hey hey bro let me ask you this now it's a holiday uh-huh then you're going to be off tonight through next monday yes okay okay so um everybody i know i really don't like um putting a holiday like thanksgiving to a, a particular calendar i think you should do it at least once or twice uh a month if you have to with your family members you know um i don't like designated holidays from a calendar but if it'll bring us all together and so be it you know right um, before we get off of here man is there anybody um, I know you're going to say to your wife and the kids, and we've been calling your wife. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. Well, I've heard from the side, <laughs> from Richie and everybody else, they're like, oh, man, we consider them married already. So, yeah. ceremony, put some icing on the yeah. cake. If we lived in Washington, seven years would be common law, but, <laughs> you yeah. know. Yeah. But you ain't going to leave. And I don't think that you could see her with somebody else. I don't think she could see you with someone else. No, guaranteed no. Yeah, that's that Egyptian dirt love. It ain't going nowhere. It's gonna be there for a long time. Long time. <laughs> for real. Um, anybody else though, family members, anybody, you know, who while we closing out, your last miss was the holiday season, man. We ain't gonna be in Thursday. Um, yeah, my last thing uh that I wanna say to anybody out there that anybody that's watching, um if you are alone this this Thanksgiving, um, you know, and feel the need to reach out to some of us, please uh, don't be afraid to. Um, just because we're surrounded by family doesn't mean that we won't take time to listen to you. Um, you know, any veterans that are out there that are alone uh, during this holiday season, please don't subtract from the population. Um, you know, reach out to somebody. We'd rather, you know, like I say all the time, we we would rather listen for three hours than 30 minutes at your eulogy um you know just don't don't be afraid to reach out and uh yeah with that being said um you know uh god we haven't me and my mom haven't been to thanksgiving for probably 10 years one of these days i'll get down there for that but what uh she's, where she live at my mom <clears throat> my mom lives in redding california uh well, we just haven't I call her every Thanksgiving, but um, oh God, I haven't. She was just recently up here last year, but we haven't. We, me and my sister and my mom haven't really ever been together for the holidays. So, uh, that's been. I was just thinking about that. It's a bummer. <laughs> um, but yeah, don't don't be afraid to uh, to reach out to anybody on the station. You can message me. You can probably message Roy. Yep uh you know richie uh j dub high tech uh uh um devil doc even probably um you know anybody from woe entertainment anybody from bb nation anybody from the bar uh vet Revolt radio don't don't be ashamed to reach out please do if you feel the nerve uh to uh release yourself um just reach out Hey man, that's righteous words. Um, and Kaylin said, "Look, because you can organize some big Jeep situations. I know you can get an organization of you, your sister, and you go down and visit your moms. You feel me? Oh yeah. Um, um I, 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 everything that you said, I'm, I'm on the same way. Look, we on this podcast to strike up. You know, we, our model is that it's a conversation. It's not a confrontation. People." all have different um 
Oh, I didn't see this one. Caden put this up here. I didn't even let me put the read this. We are we all human make mistakes, but God doesn't put us through trials and tribulations, and we are to grow and learn, be stronger. We have each other, and God has a plan, and all we can do is stand by each other and support our growth and be there through love and faith in each other. Love conquers all. It, it sounds like Kaylin. Did she used to write for the uh, Motown? She used to write for real. And, uh, da, 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 da. That sounds like some lyrics to some Marvin Gaye song right there. When that woman Thank puts mine. Everyone. Have a blessed holiday. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, um, I just want everyone to be safe. Right. Empathize with each other. Empathy is when we're putting ourselves in somebody else's shoes, not just saying it. Carl's right. Look, man, if you feel like you, it's a holiday, because the holidays is depression to a lot of people. A lot of it people, is. They lost some loved ones. This mm -hmm. is their first holiday going without them in their lives. Um, sometimes I used to wonder what was worse, um, a breakup of someone you loved for so many years, and now you're not together or someone who died. You know, because the person you die, you won't see them again, not until you die or whatever. But when you, you break up with somebody you've been with for so long, it's hard to, see, you know, to see them walking or like, damn, we not together or something. So it can be depressing on holidays. Hey, check this out. You you don't have to be by yourself. Like Carl said, it's easy to reach out to us. Facebook, we, you can send me a number or something and I will, I'm going to come around and stuff i don't know what's going on but um somebody must be coming up into the coming by the house or something like that uh my dog here i got a uh 11 month old um pit mixed with some type of hound i didn't know he's gonna get this big he's 11 months and he's 75 pounds and he's smart like a jack russell so but um anyway man god bless everybody I'm Roy Anthony. This has been Carl Loomis. Since your joy was on earlier, Big Hank might have had to set something up because it is the holidays for the church. Um, we want to thank everybody for jumping in. We won't see you Thursday, but we'll see you next Tuesday. Carl, while you take care of your duties, you make sure you drive home safely, bro. Okay, and, brother. Uh, and y'all. Uh, and we I'm um, looking forward to seeing you again. Everybody, we've been a witness, and I'm going to make this announcement. July the 7th. <laughs> Carl and Caitlin is going to get married. It's going to be a hoot in the name. If I don't be, if I don't be at the thing, I already said I want to do comedy at y'all reception. I've been saying it, and so I'm putting it on my calendar. Everybody gonna come up there. I'm about to make a big announcement, July the seventh. Since y'all gonna make this a big ceremony, I know this. This is a marriage I don't mind going to a wedding. I don't mind going to because I just feel it's gonna last. Compared to some weddings, I'm like, man, this is dude fifth marriage, right? <laughs> All right, man. God bless everybody, man. We out. Welcome, Welcome to the Roy Anthony Show. Every Tuesday and every Thursday. Hey, Y'all hey, tap in. Is this thing on? Can you hear me? Roy is anybody Anthony out show there? Is the spot to be, baby. Hey, tune in. It's the hottest show, homie, on the West Coast. The Roy Anthony Show. It's the hottest show, homie, on the West Coast. The Roy Anthony Show. It's the hottest show, homie, on the West Coast. The Roy 